So, we learned so much this year. Um, let me just add that it's been it's been all day, and now I'm just getting in doing this because Mama's about to get home, and I, I just been uh, been working all day, maintaining two stoves and doing my laundry, and yeah, man. But um, let me get off that real quick. <laughs> But uh, the things that we learned, we learned so much. Um, it's harder to like to wrap it up in one blog. So like today, I uh, what I'm well I express to you guys is what we learned is that we are some kick-ass farmers. I mean, we came with the plan and we executed the plan. Why is my phone ringing? Uh, and the plan was kind of like, okay, the first year we'll do a quarter acre, see if uh, if we can do it. We successfully did a quarter acre. Second year was um, was to do a half acre, and we did a half acre, uh, and we completed it, and we did awesome, and we had great vegetables, and our confidence level is uh, as far as growing and 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 uh, and, and uh, weed control and and. Uh, insect control, which we didn't spray. We sprayed zero. We didn't spray anything. Uh, actually, we did a neem oil mix uh, three times, uh, which neem oil comes from uh, uh, the neem tree over in India, and uh, it's really it's really good stuff. Um, but I I tried that and that didn't even work. That and water. Uh, water it was it just use water and just we we sprayed the cucumber beetles with water get them down a little bit and then we would go out there three times a day and crush so we use zero insecticides which I'm really proud of um, we use green manures like uh, uh, green manure what that is is a peas vetch and oats it's a cover crop and we tilled it in the ground and the following year we planted and it did awesome uh, we use just to be transparent. I'm trying. Uh, we are gonna. We we are gonna be totally veganic uh, here in a minute. We used one. There was one crop we used uh, manure, pony manure from my next door neighbor. Uh, we do have footage of them. They're happy little animals, and uh, we got it from them. That was composted. Put it in the thing for my garlic, uh, and that's about it. Uh, and next year, now that we have compost compost pile going, we don't have to rely on that. So, um, so, but everything else was zero, zero animal products, zero waste. Um, and I did learn a lot, and we're going to be covering that through the whole vlog series. So, uh, but yeah, man, this year. So we came, we did that half acre, and now. Um, we, we've set out, we did everything that we set out to do, and the next step in the plan was going to Boston, going to my hometown, selling, uh, going to a couple of restaurants, um, and uh, selling to a couple of restaurants. So this winter, I'll be going to Boston, vlogging, um, vlogging my experience, um, just going to grab a market, going to get, a, going to create a market for myself up there. Um, in meantime, in the mean, in the same token, we're going to maintain our Dexter Farmers Market, which is awesome. Uh, we, and that was another thing. We, I mean, we really successfully grew things, and people really loved them. And we had repeat customers, and people saying, "We, how do you make everything so good?" And I'm like, it was just amazing. It was an amazing. I can hear one of my kids coming. Uh oh, come on, sit up here. So, so, um. This is Ollie. This is my little baby, uh, my little mini me. But uh, so I mean, okay, now I lost track. But that's all right. We learned a lot, and um, I it's just gonna take the whole vlog series to cover it. And but today I will say we learned a lot. We learned uh, that we can successfully farm uh, without pesticides, uh, without. Um, without animal products, uh, factory farming products, like um, bone char and blood meal and fish meal, and we didn't use none of that crap. Uh, so, 
and we're relying totally on our um, on our compost and the green manures. So it, that really worked. It proved to me that it's it's sustainable, sustainable. So anyway, I think I had enough of the vlog. You want to say anything, Ollie? You want to tell the people what's going? No, no, no. You don't have to touch it. I need you to. Sit. What do you need? What do you want to talk about? You know what I want to talk about real quick. Put down, look at this, look at this kid. Calvin Klein? Oh man. Are you a Calvin Klein model? Do you know what that is? No. Okay. Say hi to everybody though, come on. Up here. It's a beauty boy. Alright, so. Okay, now he's gone. But, um. I got scared, Raymond. So anyway, we're gonna be going to Boston. We'll be um, getting a market there for our mixed greens. Going to Dexter Market. Uh, we learned. I've I've really proven to myself that we we are uh, awesome farmers, kick-ass farmers that can that can do this thing. Uh, I knew it. I had it in me because I worked with my old man for three years, and he was uh, he was a he was pretty tough, but. Um, me and Margo, we really did it, man. It, it was a team effort. We also had friends. My uh, her friend Kate came. My friend, a mutual friend, Kate. She came. Uh, Sabrina came and helped out. It was uh, one more, and that's it. Cause I got the pasta boiling. You see this? These kids, man. You're gonna eat, and then you're gonna get full, my man. I don't understand why you eat some of them carrots and the thing. Okay, so back to what I was saying. We had some friends coming. They helped us. Uh, we had Margo ma manning the... I worked another job. I, I love saying it. Like I'm eventually going to stop saying it. Um, but while I was out off the farm, she was on the farm manhandling the weeds, the weeding, the seeding, uh, the watering. I mean, she was, she was a good trooper, man. That's a good person to have on my side, man. And vice versa. Uh, this is a definitely a team effort, man. And I'm really excited for our future. Yep. And then we're into our third f phase of the development. Like my father used to say, this is uh, the approach me and Mago took. And we're taking. It hurts in the beginning. Like as far as money-wise, it's not a good uh, money decision. But um, there's a saying in Italy. It goes like this. Quando se va piano, se va sane, se va lontano. And what that means is when you go slow, you get, you get there all in one piece. And you get really far. And that always made sense to me. And my dad instilled that in me. And I feel like that's the progression, that was the progression I had in my mind for the farm. Was to start slow. You know, first year, do this. Uh, just for us. Then second year, just for us. And then Dexter. And then branch off and go into it and get a couple of places in Boston. Um, and uh, I feel like it's not a good money decision. Like, it's not a good, like, I, we should be doing way more markets and, and creating a lot of money. And um, But I, I prefer longevity over this. Longevity, you know what I'm saying? Are you, you're cool as hell, man. Give me, give me some daps. Boom! Would you like, what do you want to say to the people? No, okay. Oh, come on, Ollie. All right, you stand right here. You st you look beautiful. Look beautiful for me. So, so that's that's what we're doing for our future. But, um, like I said, this is gonna this vlog is gonna be an ongoing thing, and I'm really excited about it. And um, that's about it, man. Uh, if if you liked what we 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 had to offer today, no. We're probably going to edit that out. Give us a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And uh, and I just, uh, like always, man, peace, veg and, uh, peace, uh, uh, peace, love, and veggies. Uh, that's our motto, peace, love, and veggies. But um, it's it's kind of it's kind of distracting to have this little mini me right next to me <laughs> I love you man can I have a kiss
a sweet boy. All right, so. Okay, that's it, man. Uh, give us a like. And if you're new here, sub hit that subscribe button. All right, man. Peace, love, and veggies. Say peace, love, and veggies. Peace, love, and veggies. Awesome. See you, ne see you, see you next time, guys. All right.